introduce our guest speaker today. Mr. Loth travels internationally to share his story, which begins in a concentration camp in Poland. You will hear about his life from years of abuse as a child after the end of World War II to the emotional healing and peace he experiences today. I know it can't be easy for him to retell his story over and over again wherever he goes, but he does it because he's committed to helping others on their own journey of emotional healing. I hope you listen carefully as his story might just change your life. Please help me welcome the author of Piece by Piece, Moshi Peter Loth. My name is Peter Loth, Moshe, and I do speaking about Holocaust. Most people look at me, how old is this dude? I just met a young man, he says, I'm just waiting for 90 year old men to show up. <laughs> Excuse me, I said, I'm going to take you on a journey of my life because I'm like you. I had a mother and she loved me and she didn't know what was happening either. Because there was that time that anti Semitism and racism came so to the full power by one man. Hitler. Stutthof, that's the major camp right there, S-T-U-T-T-H-O-F, you look at it, it's in a big dark, because it's an extermination camp. That's where they're having ovens, gas chamber, research center, and killing people, mass killing people. And the small ones, they do killing too, but also there's a labor camps and also other camps as well, you know, prostitutions and ammunition, forced labor, and so forth and so forth and so forth. I go to different camps and research it and who and what, and then I know it, because if I'm going to speak or teach, I have to speak the truth. Look at those two. They could be your grandmothers or grand-grandmothers. They went together, were separated, and went to gas chamber, and then they died. How young you have to be? Look at this little boy. Hope for hope that he survived for today, for this time, for this season. So that he can give his testimony. So that he can educate people. He lays on this table. He's going to be experiment. And wondering, where's my mama? Where's my daddy? But the question is, would you be able to forgive? In Auschwitz, I mean, Stutthof, the Russians were coming in. And my... Uh, Mother had me in the arm. She was a human skeleton. And uh, they were shipping us south. And the Russian partisans blew out the railroad track and the Polish. And all, everybody was fleeing. And uh, my mother couldn't run with me because she was holding me. And what happened was there was a Polish lady on the train station. This is the same lady what you saw that picture was hanging in throughout the school. And uh, she asked her, would you please take this child and I will be back for her. And she said, yes. She gave her the papers of me and her name and all that, and she flee. I forgot my real mother. She tried to take care of me the best way she could. You see, she was a Polish lady. She was a stranger. She took me and she tried the best way she could. She sold everything. We live in a sewer system, and that night I have to go back because God's calling me. We went through everything, and then I said, what did I miss? And we came to Max Pauli and Pearl Van Harper. And I hear this voice, forgive them so that I can forgive you. My response is simple. What the hell I did wrong. 
I can deserve what I went through. And then he reminds me. Honor thy mother, thy father. He who curses mother and father will be put to death. Exodus 21, 17, because I'm a Jewish, I know the Bible. I've also been a Christian pastor. I know New Testament Bible. It says it both way the same thing in Matthew and Exodus. I went down on my knees. And I forgive. So this is what it's all about. This is not about me. This is how we go, and you see the mass graves, and you go through the woods and everything else, and then I have to go back, find my Polish Matka's grave as well. If you sit judgment on someone, you go, will be judged sooner or later. You don't want to get judged by the above. I don't want to go, you go even go in there. That's why if you learn how to love one another and caring for one another. You know, when I saw this guy, I fell in love with him. He says, this is my refugee, my buddy. Come on, I give him a hug. I love to give him a hug. He's a, oh, by the way, he's a good hugger, ladies. You see, I'm not... I love that. <laughs> you too. You too. He's a smart guy. <laughs> you know, he knows. Who else would like to have a hug? I'm a hugger. Oh, look at her. <laughs> She's getting... I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Once in a lifetime. You want to, you're calling Holocaust survivor. You're staying in there. Uh oh. Oh, you might as well too. Oh, come on. Oh, <laughs> you're a He's going to ring it. Oh, I better go to one more. She's, oh, look, at, now they're going to stand up. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you. See, see, that's what it's all about. We can heal the nation, we can heal everybody. Come on, honey. Thank you. Oh, she's looking. <laughs> you should see the face she gave me. Oh. <laughs> come together. The time's coming because we forgot history and history repeating itself. Learn, come together. It doesn't matter if you're black, white, or whatever. Set that garbage aside. Set that religion, just throw it and flush it down the toilet. Come together as a one unit. Because you got one God. You got Son of God. Just live like you're supposed to live. Caring for one another. Respect one another. True or not? I respect you. I would lay my life for you guys. Because that's who I am. Same thing my son. When he's in the military right now, he will be deployed. He's a, just like me. He loves everybody. And therefore, it's so important that you learn how to forgive. And learn from that. Because we've all been used, hurt. We've all been abused. We've all been spit out by somebody who wants to hurt us. Or if we be my majority, we can stand up and come against the bullies. Okay, now we open to questions and answers. Oh, thank you.